On part one of the Regina Andrew design story, we met founders Jimmy and Carla. Their perfect blend of grit and grace from the heart of Detroit resulted in the creation of home furnishings that are uniquely beautiful pieces of art. But how do you take something so unique and grow it into a successful business? You're about to find out here on The Grow Wire Show. When you guys started Regina Andrew Design, what made you go, this company has something unique? One thing we've always had is uh, design needs to be... And, yeah, authentic. And authenticity has always been a natural trait of ours. It took us many years to realize that what we do is actually special. Special indeed. However, the days of building everything custom in Detroit were coming to a close. As their name spread across the country, so did the demand for their work. We made everything we did right. for a number of years. And we're at our little trade show in a booth no bigger than this cushion, and we're trying to show everything we can. And before we got there in the morning, a, a big box store buyer was waiting for us when we arrived to order three or four containers of one of our products. That was far more than they could ever make themselves. They needed to adapt their processes to match their growth while maintaining what made their products uniquely original. And most importantly, they needed to do it quick. We find maybe just an object, a, a branch, or something in nature, a piece of driftwood. Yeah. Jimmy then will go into CAD drawing and engineering it. And then from there, it goes over to Asia, and we fly over there four or five times a year, making sure our vision is how we originally saw it. Yeah. So we, we have to work with them quite a bit. Right. We design here. Uh-huh. Um, we take concepts and turn them into manufacturable products. And that includes some of these products are going to be mass produced overseas. Sometimes things are difficult to make and they have to be hand uh, formed or things like that. So we may find a way to uh, produce it using uh, um, more of a mass technique. So we'll take a master and we'll make a mold of it and, and be able to cast hundreds or thousands of parts. And that just speeds up the process, makes uh, less work out of more work. Right. And it makes it become more cost effective. You guys just like ooze this sense of like authenticity and artistic nature. How do you make sure that when you're sending it overseas to be mass produced, how do you make sure that vision remains? It's very challenging. Yeah. Yeah, so we have to be over there. Yeah, we travel a lot. Mm -hmm. With nearly half a dozen trips to Asia a year and the stress of rapid growth, scaling Regina Andrew Design proved to be a grueling grind. It was a far cry from creating custom pieces in their garage. So how do you make sure that it's worth it in the end? Have we ever decided, thought about giving up? Well, that's, um, I wouldn't say we wanted to give up, but there has been so much work and so much stress that we've, uh, you know, discussed scaling back or, right. or honing it down. But it's bigger than ourselves. On the third and final part of the Regina Andrew Design story, learn how Jimmy and Carla handle the stress of their growth, how it impacts their marriage, and future plans for their business. Next time on The Grow Wire Show. I know a lot of people are sitting here thinking like, do they ever get sick of each other if they have to work together every day? 